Hey, this is Rajiv Kumar Love, and I welcome you to this video. In this video, I want to tell you about this book that I have been recently reading, and I am excited about telling you about this book because of two reasons. Reason number one, because it is written by my good friend Lawrence Fernandez. We have been friends for the past 32 years, right? We both started our journey towards, you know, becoming trainers in personal growth and self-development. Then somewhere along the way, Lawrence decided that he wants to become a clinical therapist. So for the past 22 years, he has been practicing therapy. And he has been helping people with psychological issues. I think uh, Lawrence has, you know, collected his 22 years of experience and he has squeezed it into the form of this book. Reason number two, this book will help you understand the core foundational aspects that make you who you are. You will also understand what makes you think the way you think, what makes you behave the way you behave, what makes you communicate the way you communicate. And this book will also, you know, help you, you know, in understanding the issues that, you know, hold you back in life right from the very origin and also how to unknot them. Lawrence gives a very good example of a smartphone. He says that a smartphone has a hardware and it has a software. And it is the software that drives the hardware. Right? And the software is nothing but the operating system of the smartphone. And different smartphones will have different operating systems. For example, you know, iPhone has an iOS system. Android phones have the Android operating system and the Microsoft Windows will have a Windows operating system. Now, this operating system, you know, controls all the functions of the mobile. Whether you want to fetch your contact list, whether you want to send an email, whether you want to take a picture or watch a video or shoot a video, all these functions are controlled by the you know, operating system. We have heard a lot and we have read a lot that we come into this world as a clean slate. But Lawrence says no. Just like the smartphone, we too come into this world with a pre-installed operating system. And that operating system is called survival operating system. And each individual will have a very different survival operating system. No two, you know, operating systems would match. Even in the same family, you know, uh, two members cannot have the same operating system, right? And we also come with some pre-installed apps as well in the form of our beliefs, in the form of personality traits in the form of behaviors that we have, you know, picked up right from childhood till the age of eight years. Now, this survival operating system, you know, it governs everything. It governs our identity. It governs our decision making, our thinking, our behavior, our action, our attitude. You know, there is no way that, you know, we can opt out of this operating system. There is no choice. You have to accept the operating system because it comes from your parents. It comes from your parents. Now imagine this funny scene. There is this newborn baby and then these parents, you know, they go to make the first eye contact with their baby. And when they look at the baby, uh, the baby, you know, talks to them. It puts up the hand and says, hey, wait a minute. 
before you you know take me as your child or before you know you become my parents let me ask you what is the operating system that you are going to install in me and the parents might say we are going to install the android operating system and say no 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 i don't want the android i want the ios iphone operating system and the parents say no you have no choice you have to take what we give you right so think about this so this survival operating system is a very very primitive system you know and uh, it works with you know fear the main weapon this system uses is fear so most of the decisions many people make is because of fear they study because of fear they you know do a job because of some fear they what you call get married because of some fear and the core purpose of this operating system is to you know protect us to preserve us to serve us. you know further lawrence says that the survival operating system comes in three variants and he classifies them into three categories and he has given very interesting names he calls them as uh, you know the wanted child the partly wanted child and the unwanted child now these three categories they make very interesting reading you know and they really hold your attention and uh, i don't want to tell you more about them i don't want to spill the beans and you know spoil your fun it would be good if you read it yourself i i found this book really very gripping because you know once you pick up the book it holds your attention right till the end and the reason i think uh, it is like that because it is talking to you about you right is telling you why you think the way you think why you behave the way you behave why you communicate the way you communicate why you act the way you act so what happens is we are very curious to know more about ourselves and not only that it gives a lot of clarity about others as well you know you start connecting the dots and you are yeah that person may be thinking like this because of this reason or that person behaves like this because of this reason so you start understanding yourself and others pretty well right so that's why it makes interesting reading the survival operating system you know up to a certain point it is good for us and it is useful for us but then after a certain period it loses its usefulness and it is no longer required also but still this survival operating system it controls us and it keeps us perpetually in the survival mode and if we want to grow and if we want to evolve then we will have to discontinue this survival operating system lawrence gives a very good example i would just rephrase that example suppose we want to plant a tree so even a tree you know starts off with a small plant so let's take we plant that tree now that small plant you know is open to risk from you know animals coming and eating it so to protect that tender plant you can put a net around it a mesh around it or a metallic grill around it you know that will protect now once the tree grows to its you know full size then this grill or this mesh is no longer required there is no protection required so our survival operating system is just like this you know net or this grill which initially is required to protect us but as we grow it actually becomes a hindrance we no longer need it so this book gives you a lot of suggestions and ideas and tools and examples that help you to 
break free from this you know survival operating system and free yourself and start living with freedom and that's why you know this cover has been made you know showing you a cage and a bird you know freeing herself flying out of the cage and soaring into the sky or this cage can be seen as the survival operating system and you are the bird who are set free and you enjoy living a life of freedom well this book is available on amazon in the kindle version right now so i'll be leaving the link to that in the description below go out and check it so thanks for watching this video i'll be back with yet another video until then take care